Hi and welcome. This video will show you how to configure a Gluon Cloud application to connect with a generic REST backend service. To demonstrate this, we're going to use an application called Notes. This is a very simple application allowing a user to manage a list of notes where a note consists of a title and some text. When the user creates a new note, that object will be sent to Gluon Cloud Link. Because we configured our application to connect with a REST-enabled backend service, an HTTP request will be sent to the configured REST URL as well. The request itself will contain all the useful information about the just created node. So, let's go through all the required steps for setting up a connection between Gluon Cloud Link and a REST backend service. For the REST service, we created a simple Java web application using JAXRS for handling the incoming HTTP requests. So these HTTP requests, which are sent from Gluon Cloud Link, follow a certain protocol, which is explained in detail on our documentation website. For example, it has the following three requests that will be called when an item is either added, updated, or in this case, removed from a certain list. So basically any server application that can handle these HTTP requests can act as a REST connector for your Gluon Cloud Link application. In our sample application, the incoming nodes will also be persisted in a MySQL database. We have here a MySQL database browser with a table called node, which at the moment doesn't have any data yet. So now that we've shown you our simple backend application, the next step is to link our Blue and Cloud Link application with the REST service. This can be done from the Gluon Cloud dashboard. The dashboard is an application in which you can browse the data of your Blue and Cloud Link application as well as manage its configuration. You can log in by providing the application credentials, which consist of a key and a secret. And after we're logged in, you'll see the browser window, in which you can browse your objects and lists, and you can further configure the login methods and your connectors, which we are demonstrating today. So let's add a new REST connector. And the REST connector only requires one property, which is the URL that needs to be called when new data is being sent. So in this case, we'll enter the uh, URL of our simple web application. And we click Save to save the actual configuration for the REST connector. So this is it. Your Blue and Cloud Lake application is now connected with the REST service. Now let's open our Notes application. So we'll see at the moment that we don't have any notes yet, but we can simply add one by clicking on the plus button in the bottom right corner. And we'll add a title and a comment. And we click the submit button to create the node. You'll see that the node has now been added to the JavaFX list view. Because we configured our application with the REST connector, we will see that the node has also been sent through to the REST application, which in our case also persists the node into the MySQL database in here. If we refresh our table, we'll now see that it contains the just created node. We can also, for instance, remove the node again from the application. And if we refresh the database table again, you'll see that the, the row has been removed as well. So that was all. Thanks for watching.